Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Nagaraj Nalindla again. I'm here with Deborah Robinson, uh, representing Hearst, to talk about their journey to Oracle Recruiting Cloud from Taleo. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you, Nagaraj. So I'm Deborah Robinson, SVP CIO of Oracle Technology and Operations with an HCM for Hearst. I've been with Hearst for 15 years and have held multiple positions within Hearst. In my last position, I was the delivery executive for Oracle Cloud implementation, which covered Taleo, HCM, and ERP. Hearst is a privately held company, which is over 125 years old. And I'd like to introduce Hearst by showing you this quick video. Given all of the businesses that Hearst operates, I know you've made the move to tell, uh, Oracle Recruiting uh, recently worldwide for all the uh, media businesses you operate. Um, it, a fantastic achievement in and of itself in a relatively short period of time. Um, to provide some context for the overall conversation here, what roles does your organization hire for? I know it's got to be you know, quite a spectrum of roles, but you know, perhaps you can highlight a few. So Hearst has about different, eight different business units within Hearst. So to give an example, in our TV group, we hire for editors, uh, account executives for advertising and reporters. In our newspapers group, we do recruiting for data analysts, account executives, and account managers for sales and managing editors. In our health group, which is B2B, we are recruiting for full stack software developers, ServiceNow business administrator, automation senior, pipeline engineer, senior software engineers, billing specialists, pharmacy product specialists. So we, we have a wide range of people we're recruiting for. The range and the skill sets you're looking for, it's amazing that the spectrum of talent you, you hire across the board. So historically, given that spectrum of talent you hire, historically, what have been the most challenging aspects of your recruiting efforts? Uh, it's been very challenging. We, we, were, we did not have any systems across the company before. Uh, before Taleo, we were very, we were very decentralized. So we, we had no ERP system. We, sit, we skipped a generation of HRIS systems. We came off of a green, scene, green screen system before which 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 had no no centralized systems at all we had we were we had a few um recruiting systems so everything was done manually before we we put in taleo which we had for two years and then we made the migration to orc that's great that's great so you know as as you for the type of talent you hire and the challenges you face, you've adopted Taleo, now you're, uh, you've uh, transitioned to Oracle Recruiting Cloud. In this journey uh, of Hearst to various levels of automation and advanced capabilities now, what have been your primary focus areas? You know, whether it's the candidate experience or recruiter efficiency or manager simplicity or you know, simplifying your ecosystem, what's been your focus? Okay, so our focus has been simplification. Simplification from when we started our original journey and then the journey from Taleo to ORC. So remember we had Taleo for two years and then even after two years, we said again, we're going to, we're going to look at simplification again. And then when we looked at our conversion from Taleo to ORC, we said, we're not going to bring over all the data, which was only two years. We're only going to bring over requisitions. We're going to look at, we call it the spring cleaning. 
do we need to bring over all the applicants? And we only, we either, we did not. We, we said uh, people will re reapply and that was up to the HRBPs and our, our divisions on how they were gonna do that. So again, we only brought over, we did our spring cleaning, we only brought over the requisitions and we looked at simplifying. And, and I'll keep saying that, simplification. So when we first did our conversion, we simplified across all our divisions. And then we did it again two years later. And we did simplification on a number of levels. We looked at integrations. So from Taleo to, o, to, to HCM, we had 10 integrations there. There were 10 custom integrations between those two systems, which were both Oracle systems. We eliminated those 10 integrations. So we had nine from HCM to Taleo and one from HCM back to Taleo. So we eliminated those, which, which was significant. We also eliminated our custom integrations to outside vendors, which now are delivered integrations with ORC, which is significant. The other item is, which now that we're not, at, we're not uh, on prem, we're not looking at best of breed. So there's integration with ORC and HCM. So it's an end-to-end -end integration, which I feel is significant. So we're not managing those integrations across multiple platforms. That's great. So, you know, simplification uh, it being one of the key drivers, what are the other drivers beyond simplification and, you know, uh, you know in terms of um, managing a common process across uh, all of the media assets you operate and things like that, are there un any other drivers? Yes, we did. We um, looked at common processes across our eight business units, which we were able to implement. We looked at the functionality across the ORC versus Taleo. When you go into ORC now, there's not the user password, which we found the drop-off rates in Taleo versus ORC. Candidate experience, you mean? Yeah, of course. The user experience was significant for the first applicant, applicant that comes in. Uh, uh, ORC is mobilized now for the user experience again. Um, the LinkedIn and, and Indeed profile import options was significant. So all these, all these new benefits with ORC is major over Taleo for our business units. And again, the benefits across our business units on the recruiting for the applicants. We also have our internal process is seamless with ORC versus Taleo. So there is a lot of movement across the units for internal employees. Wonderful, wonderful. So you're benefiting not only from all of the investments we made in Oracle Recruiting, but your internal talent mobility initiatives also are benefiting from a unified system and experience. Program. Now, correct, and this started with Taleo, but now before Taleo, we didn't even know employees didn't know what jobs were available across the business units. Now, this was also a cultural change within Hearst because employees were not used to moving across divisions. And then we started posting jobs and people could see the, the positions across divisions that started with Taleo. Now there's a seamless process within HCM and ORC for internal candidates to move. And there's also with the requisition process for employees to move and, and the process that takes place between HCM and the requisition process and, and applying and then moving within HCM. It's a lot more simpler, you know. Much simpler. Yeah, the profile is already there for the employees and, uh, you know, with LinkedIn integrations, they can even import their profile and with uh, a couple of clicks, they submit their interest in an opportunity. That's a great way to uh, drive internal mobility. And then also the elimination, and I already mentioned this, was the customization with the third party integrations such as eQuest, HireRight, Telemetry, all those are delivered integrations now, which before they were custom integrations with Tele with Taleo. Great. So now you know you made the move with Oracle Recruiting. If you could go back in time, you know, what would you tell yourself and, and your teams about transitioning to Oracle Recruiting Cloud or 
if you had to share a few words of wisdom to others listening to this conversation, what would you share with them? You know, the, the, the things about the transition process, some of the decisions you had to make, et cetera. What I would recommend is one, look at simplification. Do not bring over data from your other systems, whether it's Taleo or other systems you're, you're coming over from. In our case, we only brought over our requisitions. Uh, the applicants did reapply. That was a concern that we had. On offer letters, we did, we could go down from offer letters from over 40 to eight. So we simplified there. On approvals in Taleo, there was an op, we did a lot of ad hoc approvals. We did because it's the ERP and you have the, uh, the approval engine. We did simplify our approvals also and went to two approvals across. And again, we looked at um, making everything uniform across all the divisions, which really simplified everything. And we had a very strong governance process in place, which helped with the implementation. And our implementation, I feel, was very a short time frame. We started the project in March, and we went live in the US across our eight business units in August. And this was also during when we had a transition to working at home. So we started in the office beginning of March and mid-March we had a transition where, due to COVID where everybody had to work at home. What a great story. So, you know, what I'm taking away from this is look at simplification. Don't do things exactly the same way. You know, evaluate everything, you know, minimize the data you bring over, simplify, the templates, the approval processes, just take a look at everything you're doing and simplify it because you will benefit from the simple simplification process. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, I, I have to say it was a very, and I have to thank you, I have to thank your team, I have to thank uh, Steve Miranda. He made sure, I wanted to do this project in 2019. He made sure that we had um, the right uh, functions were in ORC before we did the conversion and said, don't do it too early because we're a very complex organization. So we did the comparison that we didn't do too early. So I'd say that's a company that, that's looking out for their customer. So thank you, Oracle and Steve and yourself to make sure all the functionality was there first and made sure what we needed was on the roadmap. Um, so your organization helped there too. And then we had a very good conversion and we made it very simple, kept it very tight and it was a very short implementation. Yeah, yours is, uh, I can tell you, yours is one of the shortest implementations. Kudos to you for your leadership, uh, the great partnership we have with you and Hearst and you know, uh, the fact that you were able to do this during COVID times um, you know, in less than six months you, you went live in US for you know, your largest piece of the business. That's fantastic. And what a great story to communicate to the world. So well, thank, thank you. you. And another area that we really paid attention to, I believe there's basic recruiters and manager, uh, manager level. We did move most of our people down to basic recruiters. Uh, we found that again, even though they felt they needed manager and insight, again, we looked at all that with the governance and what people needed and we held everything really tight and simplified. We hear similar stories from other customers. They're taking the opportunity as the transition from, um, you know, whether it's from on-prem to our cloud XCM or from Taleo to Oracle Recruiting, the benefits of unification to the richness of the functionality and some of the advanced capabilities, the candidate experience being simpler. Many of these things, customers are deriving the benefits. So once again, the fact that you're already seeing it, you know, in a relatively short period of time post go live, uh, it's a great testament to your implementation, your way of thinking and simplifying, as well as hopefully we've, paid a, we've played a small part in delivering the key capabilities for you to, to benefit from. Yeah, and Nagaraj, I, I do have a slide which I've shared with you a number of times. If it helps other clients, so we're willing to show that again on the implementations and timeframes that shows this was an implementation with Hearst over, I think it's three years now, where we constantly go through and upgrade. And we've implemented, I think, about eight or not eight modules so far. 
and then we constantly go through and and simplify and and it's not a one-time implementation yes and you know you've evolved your footprint you know quite a bit over the years um you know at a, at a similar pace i have to say again kudos to your leadership and the and the commitment that hearst has made to uh to adopt and simplify your ecosystem that you operate so thank you for sharing your your story and your uh, your, your you know the, the details of your journey and some words of wisdom for others embarking on similar journey in the future. Thank you, happy to share. Thank you very much.